What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, so as you know, I ordered a mystery box online um, and I got 30 DVD box sets. In this video, I'll be showing you the ones I kept and the ones I shall be selling. So let's start off. Um, let's start with the, the, the TV shows first. So first off, we've got um, Great Anatomy, season three. Um, seriously extended, I don't know what that means. I guess special features. Um, this is season three. Um, I've not watched this yet, so I guess I'm going to buy one and two and then watch it and see what I think. Um, but I can't wait to get stuck into that. So uh, yeah. Then I got Lost season three. Again, I'm going to buy one and two and see what I think of it. Um, I have heard things though that um, that as the show went on, it really went downhill. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. But what can you do? Then, I'm really happy with this, I got Downtown Abbey Season 1 and 2. Um, I don't know if there's a Season 3 um, or 4 or whatever, so I'll have to look that up. Um, but yeah, really nice box. Um, can't wait to check that out. Uh, now, I don't know if this is a series or a film series or whatever, but uh, this is really cool. It's a tin case. It's Band of Brothers. And I'll show you the inside real quickly, but... This is proper tin, which is really cool. And so here we have the actual box set. Oop, the DVD over. Here you have the actual box set. Uh, it comes with six discs, I believe. Uh, I can't show you the full thing because my arms aren't that long. Um, yeah, really cool box set. Uh, Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, two of the some of the greatest actors, and. Uh, director of all time so I can't wait to get stuck into that um, and then this was a really random one um, I got Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers the first collection three disc set uh, which is really weird um, this is a really old um, TV show or animation for kids um, which is really cool I guess so can't wait to watch that so that was the first pile uh, let me just put that back down in order the second pile, we've got uh, just some miscellaneous films. I actually had to split them up, otherwise um, you'd, you'd be able to see a couple of them like that in the pile. So I had to split them up. Um, all of these next ones are, I'm pretty sure, films. Yes, they are. Um, but yeah, I've got some pretty cool ones in this. Um, so uh, this is really weird. I've got two actors, three disc anthologies, which are just three of their... I don't know, best movies, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. Not best movies, I don't know. Um, it's really cool. Uh, so this is... Uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know who this is, but she was in uh, Dirty Dancing with, with Patrick Swayze. Good film. Great film, actually. Um, and it comes with these little silvery boxes. And in fact, I've got Adam Sadler's here. Um, he's got a few of them. Um, and, and they've come in these really cool uh, silvery cases. Um, which I think is a really cool design. And on the side, I don't think you can see that, but uh, it says three disc anthology, which is super, super cool. Uh, and in this box set, it includes uh, Dirty Dancing, Love Actually, with, uh, I think his name is, uh, um, I think Andrew, um, I can't remember his name, Andrew something. Um, he plays um, Rick. In the Walking Dead, and my best friend's wedding. Um, in the Adam Sandler one, we've got Big Daddy, which I've heard of. Uh, we've got Mr. Deeds, and we've got Spanglish. I can't quite pronounce that, uh, but yeah. So can't wait to watch them. And then we've got a childhood classics. Um, this isn't a reboot, but um, we've got the three Diary of a Wimpy Kid live action movies, um, which are legendary status um for some reason the second one Roderick rules came with a disc but it didn't come with a slip which is really weird but um so we have three dog days um which was actually fun fact actually that is a mix of the third and fourth books i believe which is really cool uh, Roderick rules um i don't know what i'm doing this backwards and obviously the first one diary of wimpy kid but um yeah so I really can't wait to get stuck into those three films. 
And again, these are all really cool. Um, I decided to keep 16, I think. There is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, yeah. And there's 14 that uh, in the background, if you can see over there, that uh, I'll be showing you once I've done this. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this so quickly is because I don't want this to be too long of a video like the previous one. Um, and there's a lot to go through. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get through it. So this is a, a great one because um, I absolutely adore these people. Um, we got Jackass volumes two, three plus the movie. I don't know if the movie is volume one. I guess I don't know. And then a TV series or the series came first or something. Um, I don't know. But um, I don't know the timelines. But uh, yeah, I, I love Jackass and the and the group behind these. They basically they just abuse each other. Uh, it's really funny. Um, but yeah, really cool, actually, uh, I have to say this, a really cool hardback case, much like The Walking Dead, it's uh, really nice. Also, the way they've done this, with the tape and stuff, that's fake, um, which I actually didn't notice, but that's, um, that's quite cool. Loads of behind-the-scenes features as well. Can't wait to get stuck into that. Then we have uh, Jonah Hill, and um, I think it's supposed to be Channel Tating, I don't know, because this is from CEX. Uh, this is 21 Jump Street and <coughs> sorry, 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street, the sequ sequel. Uh, Jonah Hill was hilarious in this. I mean, you can't go wrong with Jonah Hill. So, can't wait to get stuck into those. And then, we have a limited edition four disc set of the Dark Knight and Batman Begins. Um, absolutely love DC Comics, so can't wait to get stuck into these. And it comes with a, it's a really nice box actually. Um, I think the the shininess and the gold is really lovely. It makes a great addition to my uh, DVD collection. Um, so that was the I need to put these in order now. Will I? Um, I believe it was. Oh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, really great films. Again, can't wait to get stuck into them. No, I think there's 13 over there. I don't know. Um, I'm bad at counting. Um, now, I don't mean all together in these box sets. Um, there's 16 films. There's way more than that. And in fact, I'll count them um, just before I get into the ones I'm selling. Um, so here we have Ben Stiller and Robert De Niro. Again, two brilliant actors. You can't go wrong. We've got Meet the Parents. Um, Ultimate Special Edition. Um, which is really weird. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and Meet the Fockers. Which is a great title. Um, the sequel, I assume. I don't know. I've not seen this before. Um, and then we've got the Top Gear collection. Uh, Back in the Fast Lane. Uh, Revved Up and Winter Olympic Olympics. Um, as I said, I love these three. Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Nixon, James May. Absolutely love these three. So, uh, again, can't wait to get into that. Uh, here we have a really good one, actually. Um, we have three family classics. Um, and I've not seen I've not seen one of these three movies. But we've got the 1939 Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland. We've got Black Beauty, which I've not seen, um, so I can't wait to watch that. And we've got the 19, I think it's 79 Willy Wonka, I think. I think that's when that came out. But we've got uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, the original one with Gene Wilder. Again, fantastic uh, film crew. Absolutely amazing. Um, Oh, and here we have, this is another good one, actually. These are all really good, actually. All, most of them are really good. I'm really happy with this. Uh, but we have a three-movie set uh, with a really nice shiny box of The Hunger Games. Uh, we've got The Hunger Games, obviously. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, uh, part one. Um, again, can't wait to get stuck into. Um, I, I mean, see, look. I mean, I put the pile there, and it started, yeah, anyway. Um, and we've got some Robbie Downey Jr., which you cannot go wrong with. Um, he's always funny with his improv and everything. Um, we've got the two film Sherlock Holmes collection. We've got Sherlock Holmes and A Game of Shadows. Obviously, Sherlock Holmes before that. Um, but yeah, some really, really, really great films. So let's do a count of how many films there are. Um, I won't do the seasons, but do a count of how many films about. I'm going to exclude Band of Brothers because I don't quite know what that is if that's a TV series or what um, if one of you can let me know I'd be chuffed um, so here we have three movies this is five five and three is eight um, I'm going to count these as movies because they're I mean they're just movies 
Uh, so where are we? 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. I had to count that. It's terrible. Um, 13. Jackass. 14. Uh, 21. 22. Jump Street is... Oh, 16. That's a spider. Oh, I've just seen a spider. Right up there. Oh, anyway. 16. And Dark Knight. Batman Begins. That's 18. Um, that's 6 films here. 18 plus 3 is 21. Plus 3 again is 24. <laughs> um... 24 plus 3, the three Diary Kid films, is 27 or 6. Oh my god. Sorry. I've got a huge fear of spiders. And it's coming right down on my laptop. Oh. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> i tell you what, this is funny. It's been half an hour for me. Um, but the. Oh. I have a huge fear of spiders. Uh, this is the stuff that I'm not going to keep, by the way. Uh, I have a huge fear of spiders, and one's just come down from the top of my laptop. <laughs> oh, huge fear. Anyway, so these are the ones I'm not going to keep. Um, the ones I'm going to sell. Probably on eBay or Facebook or whatever. Um, but yeah, so, and don't get me wrong, they're, they're not bad. They're really good, actually. It's just some of them I already have. Um, some of them are just, you know, not really for me, um, and some of them I just, I just don't like. Not that they're bad, but it's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay, so, the ones I'm not going to keep, here we go. So these are mostly, um, uh, mostly movies, actually. Oh, by the way, the total movies that I got from that was, I think, 27 or 26, um, in those whole things, which is really good. 26 movies <clears throat> and a couple of seasons of different TV shows for 30 quid. No, sorry, 10 quid. I don't know why I said 30, because it was 30 altogether. For 10 quid, isn't bad. Uh, but yeah, so here we have uh, um, 24, season 4, which is, I think, like CIA and stuff like that. I'm watching the spider, which is, um, I think, CIA and stuff like that. Um, and then we've got the collector's edition of the uh, original X-Men trilogy, um, which is really cool, don't get me wrong. Uh, box is a bit battered, but I don't really need it, as I have um, the X-Men collection here, which is uh, eight of the films. I just need Logan, uh, Deadpool, Deadpool 2, and Dark Phoenix, um, and, of course, New Mutants. But, um, yeah, X-Men trilogy, super cool. Then we have a dupe, a dupe which I shouldn't have got. Because the ad did say on eBay um, there was going to be no dupes. So I did message them about this. I got two dupes, actually. Um, I did message them about this. Um, and they said we're going to send in a couple of new box sets. And they should get here by the weekend. So I'll show you them when they get here. Um, that'd be really cool. But yeah, really nice people. Um, that was just the same top gear we had earlier. Um, then we got Laguna Beach Season 1, or the first season. Um, I don't know what that about that's about but it looks pretty shite so uh yeah then we've got my name is Earl season one um which again it just not my thing um then we've got i think this is a film or is it a series i oh, know it's a series sorry uh over there um a complete series nine hours on four discs um honestly it looks all right it's just not my thing. Although the box art is really cool, actually. Oh dear. No discs. <sighs> I'm going to have to write to them. No discs. I'm going to have to put that to one side. And write to them. That's tough. Finish the video. Um... Then we got a Tom Cruise sort of film sort of thing uh, with The Firm, um, Changing Lanes, and The Rainmaker. Um, but yeah, I don't really, I'm not really into Tom Cruise. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't dislike him. It's just again not my thing. Um, he's a really popular one actually. We've got Family Guy season four in this lovely uh, box. I keep looking up it's because it's, it's right above my laptop. Uh, we've got Family Guy season four. Um, again, not that I don't like it. It's just that I already have one to fourteen. Um, 
which naturally includes season four. Um, then we've got Bridget Jones Diary Trilogy. Uh, oh no, sorry, uh, one and two plus the missing bits, which actually comes in this. Is really I really like how they've done this box set. I don't like this, but uh, I like how they've done the box set. They made it look like a journal with the pages, and how I don't know why I've done it one-sidedly. That's really weird. And how that looks like a diary with this stuff. But yeah, it just doesn't look like my thing. Apparently, it's popular. Um, then we've got Friends season seven. Uh, which was the other dupe I got. Um, uh, we've got the Mighty Boosh. Season 1 and 2. Uh, BBC TV show. Um, again, just not my thing. I think it was a TV show. No. Hmm. I don't know. But it did come in this cool hard box. Which I actually think is a pretty sick looking box. We've got the London 2012 Olympic Games. Um, pretty self explanatory, really. Um, oh. And Lil Sterox collection. Um, we weekends. Um, when he met um, Jimmy Savile. That was. Yikes. I think that was before the accusations of him being a paedophile. Not Lewis Theodore, because Jimmy Sal, obviously. Um, but yeah, so they're the ones I'm not keeping. Um, I might actually take a look in 24. I don't know. But uh, I maybe take this in 24, actually, now that I think of it. Mostly just get something into, you know. Um, but yeah. So. Can't wait. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um. I'll see you next time and hopefully there won't be a spider to uh, freak me out. <laughs>